Hi, I'm Diana Winston, and it's so nice to have you join me today for our second session of Developing a Balanced Mind, where we learn more about how mindfulness can cultivate this balanced mind. I like to define mindfulness as paying attention to our present moment experiences with openness, curiosity, and a willingness to be with that experience. Mindfulness invites us into the present moment with a mind of interest and curiosity and this quality of willingness. Can I learn to be with things as they are? Much of what we experience we resist. It's not fair. Why is this happening to me? Mindfulness helps us to be more accepting of our experience, but as we talked about in a previous session, not to make us passive or inactive simply to realistically face whatever circumstances we are in so that we can move forward with less emotional turmoil, a more balanced mind, and clear seeing and acting. Mindfulness cultivates equanimity as it teaches us to be present with what is. No matter what our experience, we can notice it with curiosity. If we don't like our experience, we can notice dislike arising. If we have uncomfortable body sensations, we can notice the sensations without getting lost in reactivity and the stories about the experience. Why is this happening to me? What's wrong with me? We might be thinking. We learn to be present with our full experience, returning to the present moment when we're lost in our fears of the future or remorse about the past. Mindfulness brings us into the here and now, and that cultivates equanimity, even-mindedness, and balance. So let's begin a basic mindfulness practice for the cultivation of these qualities. We can begin by finding a comfortable, relaxed position. You might be seated upright in a chair or on a sofa or on a cushion on the floor, or you might even be in bed. Let's begin by taking a few deep breaths. As we take these deep breaths, Just allow yourself gently to relax a little bit, if that's possible. Your hands can be resting wherever they're comfortable. Your eyes can be closed, and if that doesn't feel comfortable to you, you can have them open, just looking downward. Try to keep your back upright, if possible, but do your best in whatever position works for your body right now. So as we take these deep breaths, allowing yourself to soften, to relax a little bit if that's possible, and to come into this present moment right here, right now. You can notice your feet on the floor, feeling the weight of your feet on the floor, or wherever they are. You can notice your legs and your back. What sensations do you notice? Warmth, heaviness, lightness, pressure. Bring your attention into your stomach area, allowing it to soften. You can take a deeper breath here to release any tension in your stomach area. Notice your hands, letting your hands be soft. Notice your arms and shoulders, allowing them to soften. And relaxing and softening your face and facial muscles. Now let's turn our attention to the sounds around us. There may be sounds in the room or outside the room. And just listen to the sounds. Listen to the sounds as if you were listening to your favorite music. Open, curious. Sounds are coming and going. As you listen to the sounds, you might notice yourself analyzing the sound or reacting to the sound. I like it or don't like it. See if you can simply listen. Sounds coming and going.
Now let's bring our attention back to our bodies. Can you feel your body breathing? Noticing your body. Without you doing anything, your body is breathing. Can you notice your abdomen rising and falling? Expanding and contracting with each breath. Let your breath be natural, at its own natural pace, rising, falling. You might notice your chest expanding and contracting, breathing through your nose in and out. You might tune your attention to your nose. Can you feel the tingling, warmth, coolness? So to practice mindfulness, it's helpful to have a focus, something we can always return to, your home base. And this focus can be your abdomen or your chest or your nose, the breath, as you breathe in the abdomen, chest, or nose. Or if you like listening to sounds, you can continue on with that. So choose whichever is the clearest or easiest for you. And if you can't decide, they all work equally well. So let's begin the process of attending to our present moment experience. Breath after breath, or sound after sound. One breath ends, the next breath begins. As you do this, you might notice that your attention begins to wander. You start thinking about other things, planning, remembering, imagining. If this happens, you're not doing anything wrong. It's completely normal. When you notice your attention has wandered, you can say a soft word in your mind like thinking or wandering, and then gently redirect the attention right back to your main focus, to your home base, your breathing, or to the listening. So we're going to try this now for a little bit on our own without me guiding and see what happens as you cultivate this ability to be with what is in the present moment.
As you bring this meditation to a close, notice your body. Notice how you're feeling right now. Notice how your mind is. Are you feeling more relaxed, at ease? If so, really enjoy this feeling. If you're finding that there's something else that you're not feeling that way, it's absolutely fine. Just notice what it is you are feeling. Letting whatever is here be here. And this ability to be with what is helps us to cultivate a balanced mind, no matter what's happening inside ourselves or outside in our life. Notice your body one last time. Feel your feet. Take one more breath with awareness. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes or end the meditation. This is a basic mindfulness practice that I recommend doing on a regular basis. If it's possible to do it every day, for some of you that may not be possible, but if it is, it's a great way to get connected to mindfulness and just learn this process of paying attention to the present moment, getting lost in thought, and coming back to the present moment, to our breath or to the listening. In this way, we cultivate over the long term as we practice a balanced mind. 